the Bible says the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. This was written under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost by King David, a man who had sinned against God, a man who had nothing he could bring for his sin under the law. There was no sacrifice to atone for adultery and murder that David had committed. A man who could simply fall into the mercy of God, and David was given those sure mercies. David was given something special. David was given something that is a picture of your salvation today. Blessed is the man, David writes, to whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity. You, like David, have sinned against God. You, like David, have no offering that you can bring to atone for your sin, no good works, no sacraments, no best intentions. You, like David, have been given special mercy through the grace and the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ to put away your sin. So when you stumble now today, when you falter now today, what do you bring to God? You bring a broken spirit. You bring a broken and contrite heart. That is what God is looking for, for you and for me to be sorry for our sin, to be broken about our sin, to be willing to make amends for our sin, not to hide it like King Saul, but to come broken before God like King David. Not to be like the flesh, King Saul, that tries to brush over the transgression and still desire honor, but to come humbly, to come honestly, and to come openly before God, confess your sin, make things right, and stay in the sure mercies that he's given you. God will not despise your broken heart today. God is looking for your contrite heart today. That is what he esteems. That is what he longs to see because the Lord looketh on the heart. So if you've sinned today, remember the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit.